what if there was a church that uses kidnapping, brainwashing, and blackmailing to get and retain its members? Well, there actually is. Also known as Eastern Lightning, the Church of the Almighty God is a Chinese Christian cult known for its extreme beliefs and practices. Church by name and cult by nature, this organization has been causing chaos and destruction since its inception in 1991. In this video, we will talk about the history, beliefs, and practices of the Church of the Almighty God cult. So, let's dive in! The Church of Almighty God was established in China in 1991. At the core of this group's belief system is the extraordinary claim that Jesus Christ has returned to Earth, incarnated as a Chinese woman. This woman, known by names Yang Shengbin or Lightning Dang, is presented as the living embodiment of Jesus. In 1991, Yang Shengbin began spreading her message with Chinese house churches, primarily among those affiliated with the Shouters. We will talk about this group in a while. She distributed mimeographed texts that she claimed contained revelations from the Holy Spirit. It's important to note that according to Chinese authorities, Yang has a documented history of mental health issues. Yang Shengbin, while the nominal leader, is said to be directed by Zhao Wei Shun, but eventually entered the world of Christian new religious movements over the years. Before his association with the Church of the Almighty God in 1986, Zhao was a part of a Christian house church. A year later in 1987, he took a significant step into his religious journey by getting baptized into a branch of the Shouters. This is the same group that Yang Shengbin was affiliated with when she started spreading her message. This group is recognized for its distinct and loud worship practices. Within this environment, Zhao ascended to a notable position of influence and leadership. His rise within the group was marked by controversial teachings, including his claims and recognition by Chinese authorities that he was the Lord of Ability. In 1989, the Shouters were officially labeled a cult by the Chinese government and were banned. Just two years later, Zhao met Yang Shengbin. He was soon recognized as the man used by the Holy Spirit. Remarkably, by the end of 1991, their organization had already swelled to more than a thousand members. The following year, in 1992, Zhao spread Yang's revelations, which boldly stated that Yang was not just a prophetic voice, but was indeed the second coming of Jesus Christ. From this point forward, Yang was referred to in masculine terms, as she was perceived as the incarnate Almighty God, Jesus Christ in the flesh. This dramatic claim caught the attention of Chinese media, who began calling Yang, sometimes also referred to as Dang, as the female Christ. Due to these extraordinary claims and practices, in 1995, the group was classified as a cult in China's Ministry of Public Security. This reflected the government's stance against what it perceives as a severe threat. Internationally, some Christian groups and various news outlets have gone further, branding the Church of the Almighty God not just as a cult, but also as a terrorist organization, due to its extreme beliefs and the violent acts reportedly committed by its members. You will be shocked to know that despite these serious allegations, members of the Church of the Almighty God counter these claims by arguing that they're simply being persecuted for their religious beliefs. They suggest that the Chinese government's actions against them are not justified crackdowns on dangerous activities, but rather acts of religious oppression. On September 6, 2000, something big happened that really changed things for Zhao and Yang. They went to the United States and, in the next year, they were allowed to stay there because they were in danger in their own country. Since then, they've been living in New York and still lead their group from there. So, what is the Church of Almighty God known for? Well, as we said earlier, the Church of Almighty God is also known as Eastern Lightning. This name is inspired by a passage from the Gospel of Matthew 24, 27. For as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. This group is a non-Trinitarian entity that teaches a distinct eschatological perspective known as millennialism. Central to their teachings is the publication of revelations attributed to their female Almighty God, primarily compiled in The Word Appears in the Flesh. 
their theological framework positions them in a direct opposition to communist ideologies, notably equating the Great Red Dragon of the Book of Revelation with the Chinese Communist Party. The Church of Almighty God delineates human history into God's 6,000-year management plan, which is divided into three distinct ages. The Age of Law, marked by Jehovah's Guidance of Israel. The Age of Grace, showcasing salvation through Jesus Christ without eradicating human sinfulness. And beginning in 1991, the Age of Kingdom, where the current incarnation as Almighty God is believed to reveal the ultimate truth and work towards liberating humanity from sin. They anticipate a future Age of Millennial Kingdom, a period post the demise of their present deity, imagined as an era of peace and joy on Earth. According to Holly Folk, an associate professor at Western Washington University with expertise in the church, the organization does not regard the Bible as the infallible word of God, but rather as a flawed human creation. Here's a look at the darker side of the Church of Almighty God. Their reach extends beyond mainland China to cities like Hong Kong, New York, and San Francisco. Reports shed light on the harrowing methods they follow, including sexual seduction, kidnapping, bribery, brainwashing, and blackmail to ensnare and retain members. Yes, all this might sound hard to believe, but it's true. The group specifically targets those who are most easily taken advantage of, including housewives, people with not much money, and those involved in small community churches in China. They carefully build trust within these individuals, slowly convincing them that Yang Shengbin is actually a godly figure. In 2002, there was a scary situation involving the Eastern Lightning Group. They reportedly took away 34 leaders from the China Gospel Fellowship, which is a Christian group that meets in secret. These leaders were held captive for two whole months. A particularly deadly incident in August 2014 involved the trial of five members responsible for the murder of a 37-year-old woman in Yantai, Shandong Restaurant beaten to death simply for her refusal to join the group. By February 2015, two of those implicated were executed for the crime, highlighting the extreme lengths to which the organization is willing to go in the pursuit of its objectives. So, if we surmise, the Church of Almighty God is a dangerous group that denies the sufficiency of Scripture and supplements it with additional, supposedly inspired teachings. The new teaching comes in the form of a woman who is seen to be a second incarnation of God and who actually calls herself Almighty God. The Trinity is denied, Jesus' sacrifice is denigrated, and His work on the cross is considered powerless to fully save. While the group pays lip service to the sacrifice of Christ, true and final salvation is only available through adherence to their new teaching. The Church of Almighty God is shrouded in secrecy, and its members use strong-arm tactics and have committed crimes in the name of their group. If you found the video informative, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, let us know in the comments if you want to see more videos on similar topics. You can also check out our previous video on 8 historical punishment methods. Goodbye until next time!